Hey there, liquid cooling enthusiasts! I'm Matiz, and today we'll dive into a quick tutorial where we'll be tackling an essential maintenance task for your loop. I will walk you through the steps to swap out your coolant and, if you're feeling adventurous, give it a vibrant new hue to really amp up the visuals. But first, make sure you subscribe to our channel for more useful how-to videos and follow us on social media for essential updates. Alright folks, before jumping into the yearly coolant change, let's ensure your loop is in tip-top shape. The love for your liquid cooling loop is best expressed through proper maintenance. This means that your loop should not be neglected and the best way to do that is to replace the coolant at regular intervals. This will help you maintain the best protection for your loop and assure spectacular aesthetics at the same time. Which brings us to the question, how often should I replace the coolant in my loop? The coolant in your loop should be replaced once a year. However, if you are using solid coolants, this interval may be a bit shorter, as solid coolants are more delicate and require a bit more attention. So if your liquid cooling loop hasn't seen new coolant in at least 12 months, it's definitely time for a coolant change. But before we replace the coolant, let's first make sure your loop is in perfect shape. We can do this in four easy steps. It's crucial to perform a visual inspection of your loop. Pay close attention to the joints and any part that can rotate. Look for any signs of coolant seepage such as stains or droplets forming. If you're using colored coolant, be sure to check out for any unusual discolorations. Remember that sometimes what may seem like a coolant leak could actually be air finding its way to the reservoir from hidden corners in the loop, like radiators. If there are no visible signs of coolant leak on the outside, it's likely safe to proceed. Simply top off the coolant and then proceed with the bleeding process. If you notice any damages to the block or any cracks in the plexi parts, it's essential to reach out to our technical support team and obtain a replacement part to ensure optimal performance. You can contact them through the link available in the description below. Additionally, please remember never to use alcohol for cleaning plexi or acrylic components, as it can lead to cracking or even shattering. If possible, inspect the fins on your cold plates to see if there is any buildup. If there is, the loop will need to be drained and disassembled so this buildup can be properly cleaned. This is where you might want to check out our How to Clean Your Liquid Cooling Water Block Properly video to learn about the best practices for proper loop cleaning. Check your coolant for anomalies or discoloration in case of colored coolants. If there is anything floating in the coolant, then change the coolant. In the case of solid colored coolants, as there are actually suspended solid particles in the coolant, you need to be extra careful and check it regularly. Ensure the color is as it should be and the solid particles do not start to separate and float to the bottom. That is where loop preparation comes in handy, as it all depends on how you prepared it. You did watch our video on preparing your water-cooled PC for the first time, right? Well, if you haven't done it yet, we highly recommend you do that. Now it's time for the last and central part of this video. As mentioned, the coolant should be replaced once a year, even if it looks perfectly fine aesthetically. Think of it as oil in your car, it simply wears out with time, so in order for your liquid cooling loop to perform the right way, you need to maintain it. Now how do we do that? First, you will have to drain your loop. Don't know how? <laughs> Not a problem, because we've got you covered. Here's a video explaining this process. So let's drain the loop and see what the next steps are, as simply filling the loop back with a new coolant might not be all that it takes. Alright, let's start grabbing a tube with a fitting that can connect to the drain valve. Also have a container ready to collect the old coolant, such as an old empty cryofuel bottle. With all our tools in place, let's drain the coolant. As you can see, we had to leave the PC before draining, just so the distro plate and all the coolant is above the reservoir that we're gonna drain the coolant to. Following the draining process, you have two options. 
Refill it with a new coolant that matches the previous color or refill it with a coolant of a different color. When refilling your loop with a new coolant that matches the previous color, we highly recommend an extra step to ensure the loop is pristine. Before adding the new coolant, flush the loop with a clean, transparent cryofuel. This will guarantee that your loop is in its best possible condition. You can grab a bottle of your favorite cryofuel coolant in our web shop. Link is available in the description below. Now here's how you do it. Fill the loop with clear coolant. Run the loop for about 15 minutes. If possible, heat up the loop using some gaming benchmarks, as the warm coolant aids in the flushing process. Afterward, drain the loop again and replenish it with a fresh batch of coolant. Let's explore the alternative option for customizing the loop's color. Please note that if you previously had a transparent coolant and are now opting for a new hue, you can skip this step. Simply pour the new colored coolant into your system and you're good to go, as your loop isn't contaminated with your previous color. There won't be any lingering traces of the old color preventing your unwanted mixing. That said, moving on. For those making a color change, start by flushing the loop with tap water until the water being drained shows no signs of color change. Begin by filling the loop with clean tap water, run it for a bit, then drain. Repeat this process a few times. Now that we have a fairly clean loop, it's time to prepare it properly. For this, we'll be using the EK Cryofuel Loop Cleaner and Super Flush, available through the link in the description below. This step will not only eliminate any remaining residue, but will also leave your loop looking crystal clear and vibrant. We recommend watching our video on preparing your water-cooled PC for the first time to get a detailed video explanation of how to do just that. Anyway, here's a shorter version. Step 1. Mix EK Cryofuel Loop Cleaner with distilled water in a ratio of 1 to 5. Once you've done that, you'll have 1500 ml of liquid, which we'll now refer to as the cleaner mix. Step 2. Fill your system with a cleaner mix and allow the mixture to circulate through it for about 8 hours and not more than 24 hours. The procedure may be repeated, but don't do it more than twice. If you do choose to do it twice, the first pumping should last 2 hours and the second up to 24 hours. Step 3. Drain the cleaner mix from the system, then fill the system with the prepared Super Flush Mix solution, which would be a 1 against 11 ratio. Step 4. Run the system with Super Flush Mix for 15 minutes. If the liquid starts to foam too much, it is necessary to reduce the pump speed. Step 5. Drain the loop and fill it with fresh Super Flush Mix solution. Allow it to circulate in the system for 24 hours. Step 6. After 24 hours, drain the Super Flush Mix from the system, then fill the system with your newly selected EK Cryofuel coolant. And that's it! Your system is now ready for use. Remember, even the EK Cryofuel Loop Cleaner and Super Flush Kit has its limits, and neglecting your loop can lead to such a condition that even these products are rendered powerless. If things get that bad, you'll need to have to disassemble and clean each individual component one by one. So save yourself the trouble by keeping up with the regular maintenance. And there you have it, folks. Your liquid cooling loop is in top-notch shape. Thanks for joining me today. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more awesome PC liquid cooling tips. Until next time, stay cool.